Aloha, it's your boy Neglected Gundam. Today we will be looking at me building a 160 Perfect Grade Exia. Now as you will see later in the video, this Exia is the clear version, which is the expansion part set. And instead of leaving all the parts clear, I decided to paint them as if Exia was in Trans Am mode. I thought that would be a cool model to display next to my normally painted Perfect Grade Exia. For anyone who has watched my Perfect Grade Exia and Lighting Unit Unbox video, this video is the follow-up to the promise I made in that video. I believe I said I was going to show off the lighting system. Well now you can see how it all comes together. I also do a couple lighting tests as well. Okay, so you'll notice that for the inner frame, I went with a dark metallic red, and inside those pieces are the clear blue ones that help transfer the light from the lighting system throughout the kit. I painted those with a clear pink, and I love those pieces, they came out so good. In this project, you will see how the construction of this model is laid out in the construction manual. First you build the base. That's why my previous video was me building the base. Next comes the inner frame. After that, you attach outside armor pieces onto more inner frame pieces and then attach that to the model. And then lastly, you build weapons.
most instances, the armor is attached to a secondary set of the inner frame pieces and then they're attached to the model. I went ahead and took that opportunity to paint the remaining inner frame pieces two shades of metallic pink to give the model a little more diversity. The armor pieces were all painted with a clear pink. It didn't matter to me whether they were red, yellow, blue, or clear. They all got the same color of clear pink. Just make sure to stay tuned to my channel to see which paints I used. And then I usually go over that in the talk story for the Perfect Grade Axia.
And lastly, the construction manual has you build the weapons. For the blades and the sword, I painted the blades with a satin black primer, added chrome, and then finished them with a clear red, and that came out as a clear orange, and I love that color. It looks so good on the finalized model. But enough for me for now. I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of the build, because I know I did.
Okay, and as we're wrapping up the rest of this build, I just want to say thank you for joining me today. If you watched the entire video, I do appreciate it. I really do hope that you enjoyed how the PG Exia comes together. In the next couple videos, I'm going to be showcasing this guy. So you have the showcase of him, and that will basically go over the finalized pictures of him. After that, I do have the talk story. And if you're new to the channel, the talk story is mainly me talking about this very specific kit, um, kind of like where I bought it, what the history has been, how long it's been in my closet, um, and just random thoughts I have on it, and then just thoughts, basically how the build came to life in my head. So I will go over some of those things in my talk story videos, and then I'll also go over how I built this specific project with the paints that I used, and the process, and the thinking behind everything. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. I hope that you consider subscribing as we do have a lot of builds ahead of us. The next couple builds we will be doing are the Goof Customs and then also one Easy 8 as well. So consider liking the video, commenting about it, and then also subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I hope you don't feel that neglected now.